Hi, I'm Jeff Knetter. I am Idaho's Upland Game and Migratory Game Bird Program Coordinator. I'm here to talk a little bit today about our upcoming Upland Game Seasons. Idaho has a tremendous opportunity for pursuing upland game birds. Um, we have a wide variety of species, 10, including wild turkeys. Um, and the beauty about Idaho is that we provide tremendous opportunity on vast tracts of public land all across the state. On an annual basis, upland game birds are pretty sensitive to environmental variables. Um, the things that we consider are the amount of moisture on the landscape, um, the amount of precipitation and the temperatures, especially during the nesting season. Uh, now we don't fully understand how uh, environmental factors impact all upland game bird species, but in general, um, we wanna have enough precipitation to create good cover on the landscape. One, to provide good nesting cover, but then also to provide really good brood nesting or brood rearing cover. Um, that brood rearing cover provides uh, insects, for the chicks to feed on once, that they're, once they're born. If we have cool, wet weather during the hatch, that can be detrimental to a lot of upland game bird species. In 2022, we did have a wet spring, um, but in this case, it wasn't horribly cool. And in general, we believe that precipitation in our arid landscape is a benefit to upland game birds, especially coming off a particularly dry year we're cautiously optimistic about upland game bird populations coming into fall 2022. Yeah, Idaho Fish and Game has a couple access programs that are worth highlighting. Uh, the first one is the Access Yes program. Hunters can find uh, additional information on the Access Yes program on our Hunt Planner website. You can search out uh, different parcels associated with the species that you're interested in finding, and that will then help you locate some areas that are worth considering when you're looking to get out this fall and pursue upland game birds. There's also our large tracks program in North Idaho, primarily the Panhandle and Clearwater regions, that opens up a lot of corporate timberland to hunters. When it comes to upland game birds, the primary species involved there would be your forest grouse, spruce grouse, blue grouse, and rough grouse. Yeah, this year we worked with regional staff across the state to get a little better sense of what hunters can expect on the landscape this fall as they pursue upland game birds and, and uh, try to figure out where they want to go. Um, our staff has worked with folks that have been in the field. In some cases, we do have some roadside brood surveys, uh, specifically in the Southwest and, and Clearwater regions that give us a little better indication of how game birds are doing. But in a lot of cases, we're depending on conservation officers or, or folks that are in the field uh, that can help tell us a little bit about upland game bird populations and what they're seeing on the landscape now so that hunters and biologists can get a better sense of what they can expect in fall 2022.